Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Our counselors, please don't leave them alone. Go into the crowd and bring them out. Go into the crowd and bring them out. Let's make the testimonies short and straightforward. Let our medical doctor, you just mention the name of the sickness and allow the person to testify. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm Brother Mark Ibodo, a medical practitioner. I have with me here Sister Kelliam Madrid, 16 years old, who has been battling with a five-month uh, history of urinary incontinence. But today, the story is different. Tell us. Praise the story. Lord. My name is Kelliam Madrid. For six months, I've been unable to control my urine. But even at school, I always find out before I run to the toilet, I'll find out that I'm all, the urine is already out. But by the grace of God, yesterday, I was healed. I even checked myself. After here, I went back to the hall. I was feeling, I was pressed, but I refused to go out. I was there. When I go out to first quarter, that was when I went and uh, bring it out. By the grace of God, I am saved. And even yesterday, the pains that was in my stomach by the left side, all the pains vanished. I praise God for all his doings in my life in Jesus' name. Jam your hands together for the Lord. <laughs> Uncontrollable <laughs> urination. For years, stopped yesterday. Yesterday. Six months, six months of uncontrollable urination stopped tonight. Your miracle is there. It's happening everywhere. It's still happening everywhere. It's still happening everywhere. Testifier. Praise the Lord. The little girl standing beside me here is 10 years old, and we have the father here that will confirm the story to us. Uh, she was born with a hand deformity, that is congenital hand deformity with complete lack of flexion. That means she cannot bend her hands. But today, she has a story to tell us. The father is here to confirm that. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. And in all the time, my name is Brother Hassan Dauda Inuta from Investment District, Magami Group, Yalingo Region, Calabar State, Nigeria, West Africa. Standing by my side is my daughter. Her name is Akunama. Akunama simply means the greatness of God. Praise the Lord. I want to testify to the wonderful miracle that the Lord has wrought in my family, particularly on my daughter. She was born with this challenge. She, she does everything with her left hands. And she can't stretch her hands. She can't even take it to her mouth. The hand has been so stiff. I don't know the medical lexicon, they call it. Praise the Lord. That has been our challenge in the family. I traveled to Joe to take her to physiotherapy. But as the Lord we have it, last year, Science and wonder could say that was held in Calabar, Cross River State, Nigeria. In the course of the program, it was on Sunday, just like today, in the evening. As the man of God finished praying, me, I was encouraging the people, check yourself, check yourself. I never knew that even in my family, the miracle has happened. Praise the Lord. It was after the whole episode, she said, Daddy, the Lord has healed me. Because when I, whenever I force her to take the hand to her mouth, she will be complaining of her brain. Praise the Lord. So the Lord has healed her and the healing will be permanent in Jesus' name. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how long your case has been. The Lord will heal you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord! 
Let her demonstrate with the hand. Okay, stretch your hand. Open it. Stretch it. Take it to Wonderful. Her. Before that prayer, Wonderful. She, she can't do it. If I force her, she will cry. She'll be telling me her brain, her brain. Praise the Lord. How old but is now the girl? She's free. She's 10 years, 10 moons. Thank you very much. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Counselors and our leaders. Let's keep bringing them out. Keep bringing them out. All those places we are hearing shouts of joy, bring them out to share their testimonies. Next testifier. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have with me here Sister Peace uh, Stephen, uh, who has been battling for one year now with a case, uh, medical science call it Volvo Virginitis. But the layman will call it toilet infection. But as of yesterday, God did something wonderful in her life. Please testify. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is P. Steven. I'm from DCLF group, Jalingo, Taraba State, Nigeria. I thank God for all the Lord has done in my life. By the grace of God, I'm saved. Oh, it was last year, I was battling with infection, which is called toilet. I cannot stay in the midst of people Unless I went to the little thing, the little thing that sustained me is hot water and some cream that I apply. I've taken many drugs. I've taken, well, I didn't go to, I, I don't even know how to express it to people because I took it, I hide it uh, from my people. So the thing is, it happens that before this program uh, started, I brought uh, the cream that I've been applying. So the day, I could not even reply, I don't even re remember that I brought the cream. After when I got to this program, I was like, ah. it was day before yesterday, I was asking my sister, like, since I brought one cream to this program, like, I've received my miracle. So after that, till today, I said I want to confirm it. I didn't come out the first day. It was today that I said I will come out and share my testimony. Praise the Lord! Healing confirmed, deliverance confirmed. Let's jam our hands together and appreciate our God. That miracle will be permanent. Please, as they are shouting, keep bringing them out. Next testifier. Praise please. the Lord. I have with me here Benvo Zakaria. He's 14 years old. He has been deaf and dumb from the age of one. But today he can talk and he can also hear. Please share your testimony. Margaret from the region. I'm here to testify the goodness of God upon my brother. He is born, he's not a deaf, but later on he comes deaf. He's not hearing sound, he's not hearing anything. But today, by the grace of God, he has saved. May his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Okay, talk to him, talk to him. Talk, just. Use your language. 
Baba. Baba. Praise the Lord. You can see the deaf ears opened. If the ears were deaf, he cannot hear Baba. Oh, yeah, say it again. I want to hear it again. Baba. Talk to her again. Baba. Baba. Put your hands together for the Lord. Can you see what God is doing? Can you see what God is doing? Deaf and dumb from age of one. He can now hear. Let us have the next testifier. Next testifier, next testifier. After that, we go online before we come back here again. Praise the Lord. The next testifier standing by my side here is uh, Mr. Shadrach Jacob, a 32-year-old uh, graduate who was wonderfully blessed during the Achiever Summit last year by our general superintendent. Praise the Lord. I'm Shedrach Jacob from Gasaka Region, Sabongari Fest 2 District. I want to appreciate God, what God did in my life. I attended the Achievers Summit last year. And by God's grace, I'm a proprietor of Achievers Summit Nursery Primary and Secondary School. God did wonderful for me. I started with 78 puppies and students. Around August, I started the school. October, parents brought their students for Jesus one. I did not plan for it. And God lifted me from shame to fame. I want to appreciate God, what God did for me. I thank him and I decided to serve God all the days of my life. Thank you, Jesus, and God bless you, Daddy. Thank you. Thank you for that wonderful testimony on what God has done for him from Achiever Summit. Let's have online. Let's have online. More yes. testimonies are coming. More testimonies are coming. Yes, we can tell you that a lot of things are happening live here from Jalingo all over the world. We are celebrating supernatural liberation. And then we'll take you over to Lagos, where we have this first testimony coming up. Mrs. Obasoha experienced supernatural liberation as God touched her from ulcer. She has been suffering from ulcer for the past 15 years. She has attended many hospitals for treatment to no avail. But during this crusade, the first night of the crusade, a woman was testifying of how God healed her and she believed that God can also heal her. And after the testimony, she believed with all of her heart. Last night, after the pastor's prayer, she felt cold sensation all over her body. And today, she is totally healed and liberated from 15 years of ulcer. And now we'll take this from UK, the United Kingdom. This is coming from Grace, who had an accident and um, had a shoulder dislocated since the year 2017. She went to get it treated, but even with that, despite several physiotherapy, the pain remained there. She could not stretch the hand, according to her. However, yesterday, not even while the prayer was on, but while the pastor was ministering in the world, right there and then, she felt a sensation in that hand. She stretched it forth, and lo and behold, since then, she can move the hand around. Praise the Lord. And now we'll take you to South South Nigeria for a testimony from Port Harcourt River State. My name is Popo Ola Onizio from Rumukrushi Group, Port Harcourt Region. River States, Nigeria. Standing here with me is my son, Ife Olua, nine years old. 
In 2019, we had a tonsillectomy in one of the hospitals here in town because he was having challenge with his bridging. Then afterwards, we noticed last year that the challenge started all over again and we had to go back to the hospital. And there he was diagnosed of, of, with sinusitis. We were given a lot of drugs to use and we started using them, but there was no much improvement, which made us to discontinue the drug because of the global crusade we've been having. We heard testimonies of great things God was doing in so many people, even those that had breathing challenge. And we decided to trust God for his healing. Every crusade, he will raise up his hand, believing God for his testimony. But last month, after the last global crusade at um, Ibadan, we noticed that his breathing became much more improved. Now he can breathe through his nose. He no longer needs to breathe through his mouth. And for this reason, we really want to give God the glory. May his name alone be exalted and glorified. Praise in the Jesus Lord. Name. I hope you have Praise not forgotten. You have Lord. not forgotten your clapping. You have not forgotten your clapping. Put your hands together. What God is doing here, see how God is spreading the testimonies all over. And our leaders, our pastors, I think we should spread into the congregation. Something is happening. And go and bring those people out. And those who have come out already, please let's uh, confirm their miracle and bring them for testimonies. Please, we want to be seeing them flowing in. A lot of things are happening in the congregation. We cannot allow those things to go like that. Our leaders, please spread into the crowd and bring them out. People are rejoicing. God is visiting his people. Tonight is night of jubilation. God is visiting his people. We cannot allow this to go. Please enter into the crowd and bring them out. We want to hear this testimony. Patiently be waiting. Now let's hear the next testifier. Be brief, the because Lord. there are many. My name is Sister Blessing Jude. By the grace of God, I'm born again. I'm from Rubo Sita Group, Portacot Region, River State, Nigeria. I'm here to testify to the goodness of God, what God has done for me during the last uh, Divine Connection Crusade. Before then, I was having problem with my finger. When I fold my hand, I cannot raise it up. But by the time, by the grace of God, during the ministration of our GS, as I raised my hand, I folded my hand, I said, God, at the last amen, I will stretch my hand. And at the last amen, as I stretched my hand, my hand was loose. And since that time, there's no pain again. And uh, this program, this crusade, then four years ago, as I came, I said, God, remember me. Because for nine years, I've been having pneumonia. I can't go during the rain. I cannot drink cold water. I cannot bathe cold water. And every time I'll be rushed to the hospital. But day four yesterday, I said, God, to remember me. After the prayer of the man of God, I went, I went home, I took cold water, and I bathed cold water. And yesterday also, through the program, I was outside. And after then, till now, there was no cold. Even last night, I was... I bet cold water and God healed me. There's nothing like pneumonia again. Praise the Lord! We return now to the state of ourselves. Please, next testifier. Praise the Lord. Let me brief. Praise the Lord. I have here uh, Sister Helen uh, Tanku, uh, who had a uh, chronic viral skin infection, which got healed three years ago, but the post viral infection syndrome continues until yesterday when she received her miracle. Mama, tell us your story. Praise the Lord. Pray, pray, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Suna Helene Tanko. When I came by, I said, Shakara Shida and Zuna Fama de Chuta Ajikina Bayi ni maja ni nda beiba, beiba ante kada njasi viti. Baya song alura, baya song maja ni. Sena tasha maja ni beki mutu. Harina je ukari sunche asi viti ukari. Kada nsaike tasha maja ni beki mutu kuma. Na choto wone maja ni zeni ni. Na je church. Aye aye kama zewe kwanza be kwanza ba. Kai. Jia seba ba kumwe ya zo. Sena tashi na che zenzo. Zenzo, sena zo. Ayia duwa 
kwana uku nam ina chuo kwa be be mtu ba amajia ya mtu gabada ya ya mtu gabada ya ben tisa pishuka ba na kwa dema Allah na kwa dema Baba. Did you hear that? For six years, six years, the sickness the doctor mentioned defied all drugs. She had gone to hospitals and taken various drugs, to, but there was no solution. But she said yesterday, it died, died, and died completely. Your sickness has died. What happened to your hands again? What happened to your hands? Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Please test uh, interviewers, all these testimonies don't allow us to miss out anyone. I want them to queue up here now. Let's make it fast. Make it fast so that we can finish. Please, the next person. Praise the Lord. The person standing here by my side is a Fulani woman by name Hamsatu Isa. She gave her life to Christ today, and the abdominal pain she was having also vanished away. Please. Hello. Najiyao, Najiyao, Dagayola, Nakoma, Mariba. Najiyao, Nakoma, Jato, Najiyao, 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 Bali. Basamu dasheba na zona na samu dashe Allah ya share min habaye na na gode da ubangiji Allah na dalla na gode na gode Praise the Lord Let's put our hands together as we spread the next testifier Something is happening there again It's happening everywhere Next, next, next testifier. Keep bringing them Praise up. Praise the Lord. Up. I have here with me Sister Selina Moses, 60 years old by age. She has bilateral and knee osteoarthritis. But today, the story is different. Tell us. Was it there? Was it there? So nana on the US Shakwa oil mo didola nyo sakre mo shim fati nyo wokorum laga msa mim zende mi zan 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 mi dem fi mama mba mukwe de dua zan church di pala fi mo chua chua kungu wa mam ni nu zan ya mba mungu an lo ho baba kumu ye shila. Negan and her kids and Zaman, you are like you, you know, so he decked you, man. You know, so he decked you, man. Zaza, he cry, Kayanti to my yin by your hair. Man, put your side, temple and a half paga. Young love and bang one way, more man with a sapo, Zam, but your gah woo. But a little hair, your Kahitina Ponku Wula. A young one, what do I hear? Her yanty to my yin. Msakuwe, Tomota, Msakuwe, Nyesati, Msakuwe, and get it all your hunger, my singer. Manapona would have got but in a dollar gap, but on the bear for a lie yagging ya, a Pumia, but do I share more as you are here, my wang one. That's what's in that day. Let's have the interpretation. Praise the Lord. Our mother here is testifying to the glory of God, how God has helped her. Of course, she was not uh, coming to church, attending any of the church. And the Deepala church is just close by her house. So uh, 
she has so many challenges, she cannot actually test, I mean, point out which one is actually a problem to her. Be generally in her body, she used to have challenges. So as she started going to the church, and she has been listening to her father in the Lord, uh, some of the things started leaving her. And so as she came to this program, ordinarily, she can't sit on that court. She can't be able to sit outside because of the cold, because of the challenges she has been passing through. But since he came here, since on Thursday, he has been staying under the trees, uh, inside the cold, and she even went out to take a bath uh, with cold water, and there was nothing that happened to her. She wants to bless God for how God has taken away her challenges, and her situation is okay now. Praise the Lord. Next testifier, next testifier. Next, next, next. Praise the Lord. I have here Brother Apapu Adi. He is 22 years old. He has been deaf and dumb since the age of three years. But today, we have a different story. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is Philip Obakar. I'm the interpreter for the deaf here. We've we'll been working with them for all this while. Immediately today after the prayer, we tested him, and I confirmed from one of the members of the family uh, when the problem started. Actually, he was born normally, but after three years, the problem started, and they went to various places, but uh, there was no solution. But to the glory of God, after the prayer of the man of God, uh, the miracle took place. Now he can hear, so I will test him. I will speak uh, some words. One. One. Two. Two. What Hallelujah. is your name? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I your want name. you to, sorry. Babu. What is your name? Babu. Yes, his name is Ababu. So he can repeat his name. Can we jam our hands together Praise for the Lord. Lord? This is incredible. This is overflowing miracle. This is night of jubilation. The Lord is pouring miracles all over. It's happening here in Jalingo, and it's touching all over the world. Next person, next testifier. There are many. Let's pick as much as we can. Praise the Lord. I have with me here Sister Ada Amedu. Uh, she has a growth on her right index finger, which has been there for one year. But today, she has a story to tell us with regard to that growth. Praise the Lord. My name is Ada Amedu from Wukari region in Calabar State, here in Nigeria. Over a year now, I've been having this growth on my right is this index finger. To the extent that the finger was bent like this. I couldn't even, it's not straightened. It wasn't straightened. In fact, I took drugs. It was not going. Then eventually, one of the power nights, that was late last year, when the man of God was praying on growth in parts of bodies, so I used my left hand to place on it. And that was what I could remember. Then after many days, something just struck me that what about that your that growth, not my growth. 
But I hope you've had that growth on that finger. So I brought out my finger. I began to check. Was it this one that there was growth? Or was it this one? Because the whole thing had become faith in it. And that was the end of that growth up till today. Praise ye the Lord. Jam your hands together again. Something is happening over there. Something is happening over there. Don't go. Your own is coming. Don't go. Your miracle is here. Your miracle is here. Next testifier, please. Next testifier. Praise the Lord. I have here Sister Andevo Tivami. She's, 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 she's 27 years old. She has arthritis for complete three years. That is the problem of the joints. But today, we have a new story to hear. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amoria Usari John Rua, Nimsi Ndenya and Definchi, Ndenam Fiafa, Yit my Yam Nabum Yesum, two of Mims, the member of Nadi Palace, Ama Giddy Cham Tan, Tifin Dishi, the Farashim, San Fadita, Guachin, the Gambechin, Janara, Raman, Kinin, the Sweki Cafe, Moon, Muku from Bin, the Moon from Sivia, Farabin, Muku Yeti, Bihari, so which are the Chavita, and Bamun Sim, when they can't or more charging. Amam de la mafia fa sutia kani yit mu jwe fo jwe mbi di jimbe mu jwe jam bi di di bja ku jwe jwe dan amam de la mafia fa yit mba we tarike monde duwa ti mama si ti na ba ke mu na kafe na room ti cham ni we wu mam na de ki di for you ma yet in de ti yet di fast of fara de duwa no sa jwe na san fim ni de duwa ka we de mam bi di jim na yan si fim ni fim de la jim sur si fe ka we Tim tin em fkin fkin di church o em de na afia fa nyina yesu Praise the Lord Her name is Ndenyang from Osa region Taraba state She said she was having this arthritis very severe in her legs for 3 years She cannot bend she cannot stand and she always boil water before she bath So when she was coming for the uh, global crusade on the way she was praying and telling god that god have mercy on me that as i come to this crusade i will not go back the same so when this night when the pastor was praying she lay her hand on it and so, some sensation like cool water came upon the legs and everything is gone everything is gone everything is gone never to come back again arthritis gone Next person, next testifier. After that, we get to online briefly. Next testifier. Praise the Lord. I have here beside me Mr. Beatrice Yankee. He's 40 years old with a four year history of arthritis. Tell us what God has done for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not as a area, ma colambra. You know about a shed and good, yeah, one and look at you. The Buddha, one non rich in La Pia and the Yasa, I mean, rich in La Pia, Yasa, I mean, not dead in a name, my can even summon so Kiva. Alas, I lay at the Lily, one and Bower, 
Dabara kan cewa za akwai ana adua anang Ina nda na ji labara na dawo Da na dawo nan tun je karan jara nan Duma Na karaba adua Na dawo nan da yaman si na karaba adua Da sa ajwa gari ranan sa ati yo Na zi na karaba adua Da sa ajwa na karaba adua Da yaman si nan Na karaba adua na ji Na ji kaba na Da ya na za fi kaba na ya ya zarki Na zumba da shadam gida ala ya tema kemo. Next testifier. Okay, let's get to online. Online give us some testimonies. Yes, we can tell you as we are celebrating the supernatural liberation here in Taraba. The celebration is going everywhere. And I can tell you again also that the big name diseases they are being washed away this is coming from uh, the social media Afe Kafe Ibiye, who says that thank you Jesus because my baby is healed from hydrocephalus you may, you may be wondering what is that hydrocephalus is a build up of fluid in the cavities within the brain which could lead to brain damage but see God that miraculously healed this baby from what could have caused a brain damage to the baby. A big hallelujah to Jesus. Indeed, God is doing great things. As we take you to the GS official Facebook page, where Sister Florence is testifying of how God delivered her from lumps, lumps growth in her two breasts. She had been praying over it for a long time and had gone to hospitals but no avail. But during the global crusade, after the prayer of the man of God, she received her healing and she confirmed that she is perfectly whole. Also from the church official Facebook page, Sister Esther Tolu Lope is testifying of how God healed her son who had a swollen, um, who had swollen in his right leg for six years and God healed him totally he's totally and completely liberated from the swollen now we'll take you to Lagos for a testimony praise the Lord I said praise Master Jesus My name, by the grace of God, is Sister Augusta Eruteya. I am from Ejibo Central District in a solo group in Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria. I have been carrying ulcer for 35 years. People who know me, they are, who are close to me, they will testify that I'm always carrying water, food, every time in my bag. And anywhere I'm going, I must carry something to eat or drink so that I'll not feel the burning. So it was in this uh, 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 Ibadan crusade, the last month's crusade, I decided that I must get something in this crusade. I wasn't even remembering the altar anymore because it has been there for 35 years. So I said, before going to that crusade, I must get something in this Ibadan crusade. Total freedom. I must be free. So I was praying about other things. At the end, I went home. And you know, the mandate will always say, remember that the, testi the miracle is going on, even while you are going home. So it was a safe I did not receive until that night, as I got home. I said, ah, they say we should be checking uh, what has happened. So, well, maybe the miracle is there. I said, okay, let me check. I said, ah, what? I now heard, ah, what about, okay, this pain here. I drank Tagamet, I drank Boscopan. I drank milk, all sorts, different times, no cure. But I just remember that, yes, yeah, so that thing that used to hook me here is not uh, there anymore. I said, okay, I will test. So I didn't want to tell anybody. I did not tell anybody. I stopped carrying water. I stopped carrying biscuits and anything to chew. Then on uh, the following day, I fasted. I said, this is what people who, don't, who have ulcer don't do. I fasted. 
Second day, I fasted. Third day, I fasted. And that's how I continue. No pain, nothing. Till today, God did it for me. 35 years of ulcer. When? Just from the prayer of the man of God on total freedom crusade from Ibadan. The Lord will do your own. Before we return to the state of us here, I want to bring you this testimony from the GM's official Facebook page, Oluwa Tumi Ninu Adeyebe. It's testifying of how God healed her of a moving lump for the past three years, just above her right pelvic bone that caused pain and discomfort. Yesterday, after the prayer of the man of God, he, she laid her hands at the point where, or the place where she had pain, and she couldn't discover or find those pains and the lumps, the moving lumps, any longer. Praise the Lord. We we'll return now to the state of Asia for uh, testimonies. Next testifier, please. Next testifier. <laughs> She had climbed in by herself. Somebody who was using that instrument they are holding there, she is now climbing the step by herself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I think we can see Mama clearly. Is, she is Yuwana Hosea. She has been using a walking frame. This is a walking frame for 10 years now. But today, she can walk without the frame. Mama, tell them your story. Talk. Now go there. Sunana, you wanna, oh, sir. Now go, Diaga Allah. Rana de Haka, Domina Quanta Daki, Bana Yafita. Sena G. Nagani Yeso, Yana Magana Dani. Chitashi Fati Fita. Chitashi, Bazet Michiba. She just so she won on Haka. Maza, she just is a man, yes, so Domiki, Warki. Nasha Nagodi, Daga wouldn't Natashi, say Dipala. I wouldn't Nazana Cassanti. So, Nagani, na not a fear church, Ukulum, not a fear church, Ukulum. Gasha, in Nasha, but you go, Diaga Allah. I want on a binda up our road and never nigh Korea. Now go de. Yo, Auntie Ntashi Chichina and Arawa. Soon you force in our force of Bengishi. I can sir. Amen. Now you tap here. Natasha the Ganon, you are some Bongo Dunia. Yenzo Natasha. Bongo Dunia. <laughs> Shall we jam our hands together? Ten years, ten years of using that thing you are seeing there. She believed God, and when they asked her to rise up by faith, it's your faith that gives you your miracle. She stood up by faith and walked right from back there around that interpretation language section and see her. Put your hands together again. See her going without using that thing again. Next testifier. Praise 
Praise the Lord. I have here Mr. Haran Emmanuel, a 37-year-old uh, a man that uh, has traumatic uh, right shoulder arthritis as a result of accident five months ago. Please tell the world your story. Brethren, praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I want to give God the glory for salvation of my life. It happened five months back. Um, as Elia mentioned, my name is Haran Emmanuel. I'm from Gashaka region, Taraba State, Nigeria, West Africa. I want to give all the glory for healing towards my life. It happened after five months. I was riding a motorcycle, arriving closer to my house. I was carrying some baggages on my, on my motorcycle. I had an accident, and I fell. With the accident as I felt, my right hand from this shoulder, I couldn't raise it up. 